In this video, we will show you how to set up a signal tap file. This here is how the schematic portion looks. You have an LPM up counter along with a 7490 chip. Let's look at how to create the LPM counter. You want to set up a VHDL and name it here. We will name this hex one. Set it up to 9 bits with a modulus of 500 and only leave to one up counter and check all the boxes when done. As you will see they are all the same. Next is the 7490 chip. All you do is type in the 7490 in the search bar. Now for the clock output. Make it a bus line and name it hex 8 down to 0. Oh, that means eight down to zero. And then connect the regular wire and name it hex 8. Half AB and clear AB go to the ground. Clock A goes to clock. Clock B goes to output and hit complete. Once it's done compiling, you'll want to create a new file and select the signal tap 2 option. You will need a DE2 board connected for these steps. First you will want to click on the JTAG and select the USB blaster. For the clock, select design entry, all names, and select the input. Put the sample depth level to the max. Then scroll over to the clear area and double click where it says double click. Select design entries, all names, and select outputs. Then hit compile.
Once compilation is done, go back to the schematic, schematic, select programmer, select output file, and click start. Once done, you will go back to the signal tab and click analyze. This is the output you will get. Okay guys, and this is how you set up a signal tap in Cordis. Till next time.